Pinot Black, folks. And basically, this is the distance right there. 263,000 miles. 263,589 and at least over three quarters of a mile. Okay, so 263,589 miles is the absolute closest that this object can get, which is this IU here. Which is this object here, and it's just the moon, as you see there. It's not going to be the Earth on the 13th. I mean, on the 27th of this year, okay? Next year, it'll be close to Earth at this here data there. And uh, then it goes on and on and on and on. And we'll come up here, and then you see condition six. Now, you got to remember, when we, if you research condition nines, which is very, very high probability of, of possibly, and actually they have, it goes to zero. We had something in 2010 that was to zero, and it didn't hit. But we've had objects recently this year hit Earth and also last year. Uh, we had one skip off the atmosphere and go away from Earth. So uh, that's this object here. And basically I get it from uh, near all this data from, and it just goes on and on and on. So I mean, I go through here and basically we end up with this because it's basically it'll be a tomorrow's object that'll be that close. And you go back up and you, we can scroll through this and we go to stuff and dates of May 19th we get something that'll be 0 0.2 probability there to that so I can look that one up for you you can look them all up so we go here on that when we get condition 7 and we get this distance here and I'll compute that for you and that's this object here and that's May 19th. And basically, uh, hopefully what I'll be able to do is pull up the 2013 objects in January and February. And like I say, February 28th is going to be very important no matter what because something's going to happen February 28th. And I'm not going to scour for this year because I've basically looked th this year already. So, But this one will be 38,000 miles in distance. And let's go back and see what the distance is from of. Because there was my computation of my IU. It comes out to... 38,304 miles, almost basically 38,305 miles away. And as you can see, and basically if you go look at nines and stuff like that, you'll also see that the idea that you can't really go by code condition. They don't, they're not very accurate with their code condition. And then also go, we'll go to physical parameters also because I got on that. So, because uh, we have a uh, computation for that. And so remember, you go to the maximum and then the minimum, but this is as close as it possibly So It actually varies that much so that they worry about these conditions because it's triangulation, okay? Because a lot of these stars move around in triangulation in space, okay? And Bino has a patent for traveling through space faster than light speed, and it's in my head. So anyhow, we have this distance, that all you there, that it's going to be on the 19th of May of this year, ladies and gentlemen at 10.36 UTC Zulu time, okay? So 10.36 in the a.m. on the 19th, you're going to get some good views somewhere on Earth of a close object to Earth, not the moon, because it'll be close to the moon. That's correct. Also on the same date, but it's going to be... So basically, that's as close as distance as it can get. You probably have high winds today. Now, this is the current distance miles, 248,000 miles, 277, 248,277 miles, the distance moon to Earth currently, okay? So that's going to be a pretty close object. So being close to Earth and the moon on May 19th, okay? Minimum possibility of that, okay? So it fluctuates. This is one of those ones that there's some that even have uh, very humorous uh, names because they're hoppers or so forth and so like that because they fluctuate so much in distance that they could get uh, that close from this to this to this and this would be the minimum here your three zeros 0, 0.000 like I say when you start getting into zero 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 and then four zeros then you're talking close and like I say January and February of 2013 and February 28th something's gonna happen on February 28th ladies and gentlemen guarantee it so we got an absolute magnitude of H and we go to the chart for that a value of 25.701 magnitude of 0.4385 sig Sigma. 
you go to 22, the closest thing we have reference is 22.5. So basically, it's 190 meters. So it's always nice to see a higher number because then it's a, a smaller object. And then if you have a lower number on that magnitude, you could get into like 1,490 kilometers. And why do they have that big on the map? Because there is close approach objects somewhere in all that data. There's something out there that's 1,490 kilometers in size. Okay, That's considered an object that can get close to probability near-Earth near object program. Probable. Okay, So there's something out there that's below 1,490 kilometers in size, okay? Somewhere in the data. Always remember this scientific statement, okay? Read that. And then realize also, and this is up in space, this thing is going to be zooming along, pretty good speed. We have faster this month. As you can just see in this chart, we got the 14 here. That's hauling ass. All this stuff is hauling ass. 17 there. That's hauling ass. Hauling ass. Okay. So, uh, number thing, number one thing here is the size, and then you got a small one behind it. So we got triangulation out there, and these two objects there, and also remember that we're looking on the 19th, I think here. So May 19th is the closest thing I think I see for now. Okay. And then we got 2013, January and February. So what you could do is you go through the, the deal and you basically look for something smaller than that. And there's your link for that up there. Okay. I'll highlight in case it makes it show up better. There you go. So uh, now this is going to say close approaches, folks, but basically this is asteroids. Okay. That can be close. As you see, asteroids right here I got listed. So well, they lied to us back in uh, Turkey round Turkey Day. Remember that Thursday that they told us there's no close asteroids near Earth here or now or s anytime soon? Well, that's the closest one we know of. Okay, and this distance is pretty far out, but it's an asteroid. So what can fall out of that asteroid? And this is what I'm talking about, 2013, and here's one of them. Okay, I just I'm not gonna know if I'm gonna really get to the ones that uh, I'm concerned about the most, but this one here. Since I had this one close too, you could go ahead and search this one out yourself. And I don't know if I'm repeating on the numbers either of the one I had, but check that out. That is, so I'm not even know you have to back up the video. I might actually screwed up and repeated, but that one object there, and we're going to put this object in. Once you get there, you got your close approach data. There you go to, and it brings this up down here. Then we can go and look at our date in 2013 of February. It was also close. But it's not going to get with all these zeros, and this is where I talk about, see, we get into this distance here. So let's check this out, and I think that'll be less than the 33,000, and we'll see if I'm wrong or not. It's just a, I'm taking a presume and assume guess. Remember, that's our distance currently from us to the moon right now. And remember, this is hundreds here, folks. So remember that this is 16,849 miles, okay? 16,849 miles because it's point, it's a, almost a quarter of a mile or something like that there, or at least a t tenth, a little over a tenth of a mile. Okay, so 16,849 miles is how close that that object will be to Earth on the date in February, I think February 13th of uh, uh, 2013. And that's, I think, the one, the closest one. I, I'm not even going to search much more, but that's close enough uh, to be. And then look at, we'll see the condition and stuff like that, which is a joke because the idea, this is the closest thing we can find that I've been able to find so far, I believe. And I haven't, I haven't diligently searched, ladies and gentlemen. I've just flopped through. So if I'm asininely correct, which I like to be pretty anal all the time because the idea, anal works. Uh, so you got to get right to the raw. And then you see all the legal going on now. That's what they work on is they work on delay. I got delay on, uh, I'm being delayed by judges because after a certain amount of time you can't sue them, which is a bunch of BS. And it's uh, government officials now ruled in a court in Florida where the idea that you, they don't have to take a piss test, government employees, because it's their constitutional rights. Well, what about the uh, uh, John Q. Public constitutional rights and remember everybody that serves in government is just a servant ladies and gentlemen they are 
uh, either selected by the people that you select and vote for to put in office, and basically they're your servants. They are not your bosses. You have constitutional rights. And yes, a tax-paying American with his constitutional right flapping his mouth, we have constitutional rights, ladies and gentlemen. We can take a constitutional shit any day we want. We can do anything we want, whenever we want. We have constitutional rights. And you just have to pertain to the laws in your area, and it's great being a farmer. Because you get all your rights. So uh, if you don't own land, take a job up somewhere for a farm somewhere where they're hiring farm workers. And then you can sit on that property and have your rights. Totally, 1,000% upheld. Either that or own a piece of property yourself. Like a house in a town. And there's plenty of them for sale. And the government's got a shitload of them that they won't even sell you. So anyway, th I'm not selling you anything. I'm not selling you any bullshit. Because basically this is truth and data. This object's going to be that close to you on February uh, the 16th it'll be close to the moon and the second pass I'm wondering if the second path closest to the earth in February yeah well that's the one we computed there so it's gonna be this close to earth right there the minimum possible and even the maximum is even close let's even just for the hell of it we'll put the maximum in which is not much difference we'll see how the m how far away it could possibly be and not get as close. So that would be the... So anyway, here's what we get for that. 16849. And basically got to back up the video. If I'm making a mistake, uh, the other one could have been... Uh, oh yeah, this is going to be a little bit farther, so I know that the other one was shorter. So yeah, this is the maximum that it'll be away from Earth. 16,849 miles away. Okay. And a little bit more than a tenth of a mile. So, uh, 16,849 miles away. And you've seen that the moon is 200 and some odd thousand miles away. So, uh, this is going to be close objects in January and February 2013. So a lot of political bullshit, and basically they're telling you everything. Go watch political wrangling on YouTube. Watch it everywhere. A bunch of watch a bunch of ass basting and ass biting, and basically money, power, and control have control of everything anyway. And the idea that you're going to get what you're going to get no matter what. If everybody got the flu for two, three years, okay, let's say they got sicker than shit, you're you'd have to get down to like the 26th position that's supposed to be in charge of the country in order to possibly get something that maybe wasn't put in by organized power, money, and control. Okay, so factually, they're not going to tell you about this close object coming by on February the 16th. And like I say, I have friends who listen to all rainbow, and that's a spectrum, ladies and gentlemen. We have way more than one spectrum these days. And it's totally legal to listen to something if you have the capabilities and the intelligence to do it. So, uh, something's going to happen February 28th, ladies and gentlemen. Beano Black told you, and Beano Black also told you the factual, actual data truth that this here is going to happen. Okay? And uh, just keep a heads on. And basically, we've got some close objects. So we're going to have some interesting weather, and uh, I would think uh, some uh, after the fact or during the fact of the objects coming by, and also that size of that one on RSOE there that I showed you. And basically, uh, that's what we got going on these days, and this is new and fresh up here too. And then, I th like I say, it's unusual to have that up there. Be interesting what's going on with that, the, those uh, volcanoes up in Iceland and in Greenland, because as you see that one up again on top of the Earth there, not too long ago. So, and then uh, there was one across the United States there, two not two point nine. Over in, uh, I believe, probably, let's look in there. Can we zoom in real fast? What do we got there? Oklahoma? Okay. So, anyway, that's what's going on. And the, the, what do they call it again? The Gulch over there? And the Dominican Republic and everything like that. So, uh, I've said it before. 
the trench there, Mariana Trench, I believe. So that's my catalog in my head. It took me a few seconds there. So anyway, all this 